Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have four teams for you. I'm gonna just do this live today, you guys, because I'm so late. It's like 10.30, so sorry to those of you who like the uh, eight-minute videos with just a couple of teams in them. Um, I'm gonna be doing four teams, and it's gonna be live, so it might be a little bit longer. So the four things we're gonna be talking about is the Faction Assault, Guild Wars... And um, two teams for the world event. So let's get started today with the Faction Assault. Go in here. Um, first thing you do is go to the shop. Uh, if you don't have Jar of Eyes, I recommend you get this. Um, it's really good. It has a blue storm on it and a summon. <clears throat> and explodes brown. So if you don't have this, I would recommend definitely getting this, getting that. And that's probably something I wouldn't have said in the very short video. So you get a little bit more information in this video today. Um, to go to all rewards in this, to get to stage 8, all you have to do is buy one, one tier in the shop. That's it. And if you do everything perfectly, you do every single room, almost. I think at the end you can start skipping, but I would do every single room if you're just going to buy one potion. You just buy one potion and do every single room. If you do it right, then you can make it all the way. But if you want to be extra super careful, then buy the second tier as well. Because it's useful with the potion of explosion. But I only buy the first one. And then, yeah, here's my team. Forest Troll King, Gob Truffle King, Gob Truffle, Doomed Glaive. Um, Titan here. Um, I'd probably change this to something else. But um, let's keep it, keep it moving. Um, I'll probably change it to something that has a green storm or a blue storm. Uh, later on just to gain some class experience but for you i'd recommend titan or warden now gob truffle isn't as good as it used to be but it's still good enough to get through to still be a good team to use especially for like newer players and whatnot i usually try to get up my forest troll as soon as possible then cast it it almost always gets an extra turn unless you're just unlucky then you just start with your king gob truffles Use a uh, medal of uh, Nisha if you got them. And if you don't got them, that should be the thing you're doing every day after you get everything done. Is getting boss chests to get some Nisha medals. Then you pick a treasure multiplier order. I'm going to stick with that until I'm, it's facts in my face that it's not. But yeah, 1.25 would be the next place I would go here. Hit this one. And I'd do every single room all the way to the end since I only bought one potion. It's not doesn't take as long as you would think. Looking for brown or blue here. Get that forest troll up. There's a big old brown up there. Let's get that out of here. And then go with the green. There's a huge, huge skull. Might as well. And bang. So you get the, the drift here. This will take you all the way. At least to get all the rewards. And that's mostly what I'm doing this team for today. Is to get all rewards. So that will take you all the way. Next, I would go 1.15, 1.15, the, the smaller room. So I'd go here. Only the smaller room when they're both the same multiplier. And you don't have a better multiplier to go to. You could also look at, like, what's the next room it opens, but I still think I would go with this. And then I would end up going probably with this. Or no, no, I'd probably go with this, because then this would open. Just like, gotta look ahead a little bit, too. But anyway, that's the first team. You could also use everything we just used over the past weekend with the new faction. So, Rowan, um, Phoenicia, uh, Gob Truffle, Queen Beatrix, uh, High King Iron Gut, um, Tesla. There's tons of options for that faction. Alright, let's um, go check out my World Event team. World Event is in Guild, Crown Jewels. What's the scoring? We need to do the scoring. Alright, I, I know the scoring. I don't have to look it up. Okay, so... Made of Envy. You, you want to target Made of Envy. It's really weird. So, let's get started here with... Uh, and then I think you just go by Rarity Order. So, Made of Envy and then Rarity Order. I almost want to look it up, though. My computer's not on, though. I'm so unprepared today. Even more than usual. Correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's Made of Envy and then Rarity Order. So your main targets are Made of Envy over everything else, which is actually a ultra rare, so blue. So we'll look out for her. And then 
if she's not there, you want Mythic. And if Mythic's not there, then Legendary. If Legendary's not there, then Epic. If Epic's not there, you know what I'm saying? So, you want to go in Rarity order. I don't know if the level matters or not. Maybe put that in the comments. I guess I'll just go with level 40 here. And I was just using uh, Dawnbringer with a bunch of yellow... Um, yellow allies. Need my Medal of Darkness. Let's make sure we don't have any extra tokens. Two of them. So, a Badge of Darkness. Nice. And, um, is it going to tell me? No, it didn't. Dang it. I didn't get to put that badge on, so I still only have one medal here. But yeah, just getting up Dawnbringer and casting it. You might use a different class. You might use different yellow troops. But, um, this is what I was doing. And it was working, and I was going to use it until it stopped one-shotting, pretty much. I think uh, Champion of Anu would be another way to go, maybe, with Jar of Eyes or something. Uh, here's Lust. So let's go change our medals. You definitely want to use the medal whenever possible. It's always the best option. Because it's so much. Where is it? Badge of Darkness, right? Okay. So 40% extra spell damage is better than Anisha. So let's use that. And then Guild... Crown Jewels. Go back in here. Let's hit Lust. We'll see if we can get a Maid of Envy. We'll see how many points we get for this and then see if a Maid of Envy pops up next. And I don't know if we're going to be able to clear this in one shot. That's pretty heavy stats there. But my banner is blue-yellow, I think. So maybe I would take blue instead. Alright, they cast Greed. See, not one-shotting now. Not one-shotting. And nobody behind me is going to get up yet. Now he is up. But I don't think we have him because he is blue gems to yellow. We're just going to get our Dawnbringer up twice, looks like. But that's not too bad. Plus you'll end up getting more medals as you go. Maybe you'll figure out that you don't want this troop. You'll change it to that troop, etc. Um, Queen of Sin. Here's the mythic. We'll just do this last battle. And then we'll do our no, no, no challenge. And then Guild Wars. So the good stuff is at the end. So you have to watch to the end. Alright. So if I know I'm not going to one-shot, should I take mana instead of casting? Like, right now, he's going to get up no matter what. But he's going to one-shot, so he'll one-shot right here so I don't need to worry about that yet hopefully like your medals and your tokens and your badges keep up with your damage but I think you may have to hit twice with that but here we go made of envy I forgot to look at the score but you can rewind in the video and look at my scores to, to tell if I'm correct or not about the made of envy being worth worth the most points I looked where did I see that yeah I think I saw it on the forums but I didn't I don't have it pulled up in front of me right now. I think I'm going to do this. And then this. I don't know why. Just for fun. But yeah, there's Maid of Envy. Four treasure. Um, There she is again. But yeah, let's do our no, no, no challenge now. Ready? So let's get rid of all this. I wonder how much damage Champion of Anu does. 45. Hmm. Anyway, we can't use any of that. We have to do no Legendary, no Mythic, no Dawnbringer. Let's see what we can do here. Base Rarity. Alright, so we cannot use Champion of Anu. We cannot use War. We cannot use Lady Mirana. We cannot use Nutcracker. We cannot use Queen Yezebel. We can use Alistair. It's probably going to have to be a weapon that we use to get through this. I was thinking Jar of Eyes would be a good weapon, but um, to like keep you mo keep you alive and everything. I don't know though, because we may not have troops that can do enough damage here. Jar of Eyes, and what was the ones I was mentioning yesterday? High Paladin. 
Boosted by armor. So can we boost his armor somehow? This hits two enemies. Um... Blue gems to yellow. I like this guy. He's using the same exact as the High Paladin. Hmm. Uh, what about Templar? Red gems to green. That would get up and boost armor. It might be cool. Because that would get up Jar of Eyes. You could get up him and then they'd go back and forth and I don't know. We don't want that there. We want it there. Templar. Maybe in front. If he dies, no big deal. And then... Hmm, who do we want out of these two? 42 damage or 39. Something like that maybe for our no-no-no. But then, let's see... So, the Jar of Eyes is going to be doing the Blue Storm. We don't need... Um... So, for class... Trying to think what we'd want for our class. Probably Frost Mage? Could freeze him. Battle's 50%. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do this. Um, I like Lightning Strike. Submerge. Dust Storm. At the start of battle. That might be okay. We got one guy that's got brown in that would help our other guy. Could do that. Nah, nah, nah. We want the 50% start. Reduce damage. Immunity to Frozen. And Freeze. Okay. Hey, let's try that. Let's try Frost Mage. And then we need a double blue. And who are we trying to get up fast? Like Templar, maybe? To get up Jar of Eyes? Double blue brown. Minus yellow. Dang. What color are we missing? We got blue, brown, yellow, green, red. What are we missing? Purple. So minus purple. No, not plus purple, you ding dong. Ooh, that's nice. Double brown. Yeah, but it, we really want that double blue. Double brown, not good. Alright, so we'll take off blue. And... So this isn't going to work. There is no double blue minus purple in the game. So I guess I'll just try Kraken Banner. It might be alright. We can get that Templar up really quickly. And just see what happens. Let's just see what happens here. Sometimes my no-no-no is better than my... <laughs> first thought but usually I will tweak it as I go and then you'll only get the like I'll only record myself playing with a good team like when I do the 8 minute videos I just capture like my successes not my failures so good luck here for me alright looks like we got red to green that's good that gives everybody armor as well which boosts uh, this guy Boosted by his armor. And he's on the bottom, so he won't get hit with skulls. That's nice, too. We got our Jar of Eyes. But we're probably going to need to do extra damage. So I'm going to hit with skulls. Just thinking that we're not going to hit... We're not going to kill him one shot here. With a no-no-no. You're going to have to count on your medals even more. There we go with that. And we got our... We got this again. See how they're going to go back and forth, maybe, kind of? And... Now what? Let's use the skulls, even though they don't... We don't got extra on the skulls, but... Ooh, that hit pretty hard. So maybe we'll use that. Not bad. Not bad. I might like this team. Let's try it again. Queen of Sin. Not sure how it's going to do later on. If you don't have a lot of medals, like if you're in a bad guild and you're trying to go deep, that's the worst place to be in on the world event. Purple extra turn. We got skulls. I'm just taking them just for extra damage and so they don't hit me. The big old green. 
Let's just take him. Uh, let's see what this does. Dang. Maybe if that just one-shots, maybe I'll just get rid of this guy. But getting rid of the purple is kind of cool. I like that because nobody on my team uses purple, so that is kind of nice. Um, Let's do this. He's hitting hard, too, so I don't know. I like the fact that it gets rid of purple. And it's like our second tank up there. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Broker of Greed. Plus, you have a summon there with Jar of Eyes. If you ever need... If something dies, you got a summon. You got a Blue Storm if you cast it. So, it's really, really good. I think everything on this team serves a purpose. Like, look at this. All that green. Now, Jar of Eyes, straight up. Straight up. And I could cast it, but I'm going to just go ahead and take Skull so they don't take them. They got some anyway. Now I'm going to cast this. Everybody's getting up. Uh, Let's just take it because we got it. Now watch this uh, High Paladin. Doing work. And we could probably kill with the Skulls. Looking good. Liking it so far. Let's try one more battle here. Made of Envy. 120. Should be a decent test. <laughs> Then I'll show you my Guild Wars team. I don't know if I'm going to show you the entire Guild Wars. But I will show you my Guild Wars team. That You, you can uh, decide if you want to use it or not. We don't have... We don't have this guy. I don't see it. But we have a red extra turn. And, um... Now what? Okay, let's just take this, I guess. They're going to hit us with skulls, though. Let's just take this. Now High Paladin is up, and... Okay. Let's do this. Dang, that thing hits hard. You might want to use two of those. Maybe two High Paladins. Maybe. See, that thing didn't kill, but the High Paladin killed. And it's hitting the two strongest enemies when it does. So that's just an idea for you. I don't think I'm going to try it, but... um. Because I kind of like how I got this team set up at the moment. But uh, maybe two High Paladins might be the way to go. And you're saying like, well, what uses green that you would use this? Well, Jar of Ice. And you're like, well, what uses brown to use this? Well, Templar. Then they, with all the explosions going on and the armor that you're getting, the armor goes to this guy. Like, it's all married together. It's all synergizing, so... Pretty cool. I like it. I might use this team going forward. Sometimes I actually do use the No 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 team going forward after I make these videos. So yeah, that is the No No No. The No Mythic, No Legendary, No Dawnbringer team. So let's go check out my Guild Wars team. And that'll be four teams for you. Red, oh my. Alright, my defense. Two, I'm trying to save a little bit this week. I, I went with five last time. And I spent tons and tons of gold. I'm trying to be a cheapo this time. So, not Paragon. I'm down here. One, two, three. I'm fourth place. We'll see if I can go up a place or something this time. Or we get Paragon. That'd be nice. We are in bracket three. Right here. And red day. Let's see what my red team is. We have Ragnagord, Yao Gui, Queen Titania, Don Bringer. See, I told you I used Don Bringer. All right, let's go. What are we going to do? Um, Sun Spear. So I'll probably use all Orpheus Metals. That's what I do. I'm a chicken. I could use the Anu, I guess. Depends who we're fighting, actually. I don't know. I think Bracket 3 is perfect for us. Like We probably, we probably shouldn't be in Bracket 2, and I think we're too good for Bracket 4, so... I think bracket three is going to be a perfect test. All right, red team, go. Ragnagord, Yagwe, Queen Titania, Don Bringer. They are doing Orb Weaver, Jar of Eyes, Zulgoth. Ooh, they're going to start fast. Man, I almost want to use like a Frost Mage or something. I got all my Orpheus medals on. They're going to kill somebody with Zulgoth if he gets up. Daughter of Ice. Red gems to blue. That's pretty annoying. Starts with full mana. What if I use Frost Mage? 
It's not going to be good for my team, but it will be good, not good for their team, too. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm not really, um, you know, it's kind of taking it easy this week, Guild Wars. I get to go first. They're entangled. Let's see what happens. We got skulls, but we're entangled, so... We really need to get that Ragnagord up. We could do brown into purple here. Probably gonna lose this one. I should have done Frost Mage. I can do red. I can do red down. This will hit this, and then this will fall, and then I'll get red anyway. So I should just do this, huh? Alright, they missed. Nice. So, we can get the blue times two. Now we got Dawnbringer. Might as well cast it and get a bunch of barrier. It's not really going to help us if they get Zul'Goth up, but, uh... Maybe they'll take the Skulls. They should have took the Skulls. Ooh, they missed again! They're just giving me so much... So many chances here. I could bang up against her with this. Um... Looks like there should be an extra turn, doesn't there? Like, somewhere. Doesn't there? That looks... That's a crazy board. Like, I'm looking in this area, but I don't think so. Hmm. Crazy. I want to cast Ragnagord, kind of, but... Let's get rid... Let's try to get rid of her. Alright, now... Now what? Huge blue... Luckily, I use blue. Um, and I guess Ragnagord. 42 gems of a chosen color. We'll do green. There's tons of green. Alright. Now. Hopefully we got Yao Gui, but it doesn't look like it. We got this purple. And we got this. Or I said purple. I think it was blue. I don't know. Rewind the tape. And, uh, we will do Dawnbringer again. Kill their Daughter of Ice. Now, do we... We got this, I bet. Cool, killed their last slot. We still don't have Yao Gui, but he might be able to kill. He's gonna get 70, 80 damage. Yep. We win! Alright, yeah, that's my Guild Wars team. Uh, just beat a Zul'Goth team. But yeah, that's it for today. I don't want to make this too long. It is live commentary, so it will be a little bit longer than usual. But you got to see four teams. You got to see the Faction Assault team. And I gave you tons of other options that you can use. You got to see uh, my um, first thought for the world event, which was Dawnbringer. Whenever you can use Dawnbringer in a spell damage world event, you might as well. You're getting barriers along with spell damage. Um, then my No No No, my No Mythic, No Legendary, uh, No Dawnbringer. And then you got to see the world of it, or um, Guild Wars, Red Guild Wars. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel, and I'll see y'all uh, next time, which is tomorrow, for probably Guild Wars. If not, it'll be a Soul Forge team. If not, maybe it'll be a, a, a an idea I've been writing on my note, notebook. You never know. Wednesday is always a free day. 75% um, of the time, it'll be a Soul Forge troops team. Um, if it's Guild Wars week, then it could be that, of course, if I do well. And then I also could do whatever I want, like a guide or something. Maybe gold farming tomorrow. That might be it. That might be it. We'll see. Yeah. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.